guys, oh, it's Ryan and Emily here from Emory Photography. I should probably say Emily and Ryan, M, Ry, Emory. Uh, we're from San Diego, California. We're a wet husband wife wedding photography team here in San Diego. We've been using Enphoto now for a couple years uh, for all of our albums. They recently, and I'm sure you've already seen in the last week or two, have just introduced a new wall art line to all of the US market. Um, we're really excited about it. So first thing we did, we went and ordered in one of each type of wall art. Uh, we were stoked on seeing how they look. So we just wanted to kind of share with you guys the experience of our unboxing of it. This is gonna be totally real, totally raw, totally authentic. Uh, us really just opening it and seeing it for the first time. So uh, Emily, well, I'll let you entertain them while I'm gonna grab this. I have pre-cut it. <laughs> I said not to. I wanted to just show everyone like really all the care that they take to package these but items international. Like I had a razor yeah. blade and no joke, I was, it's three layers thick of plastic. So I cut one out, um, but I wanted to get this one out as well. But they do take, and it's the same yeah. with their albums. I mean, they take incredible care of making sure that this comes to you in one piece. They are coming from Poland. Poland, yeah. So, so a lot of people have that concern, but. Anybody that has ordered wall art, ordered albums, know that's important. You want to be able to give <laughs> a finished product to your couples in perfect condition. So not only is it wrapped in plastic, now you have these big old tie straps on here to make sure that this is all secure. So it's like Christmas morning. We ordered morning. one of each kind. We don't know what you know what order they're in. So as we're opening them, we'll kind of let you know what it is we have here. So we can show you. We're kind of excited to pick a favorite. Let's see what so, we like the best. Let's see what we got first. Wow, this really is packaged up. So you have that first round of cardboard, securing it. Held within another layer of cardboard, cut to the size of the package. Looks like this slides out. There we go. So drum roll, what is it? One thing should, we should mention too is when we open that package, there are no receipts in there. So you can ship this directly to your client without fear of there being any sort of And that's huge. I mean, I'm sure everybody will agree. Wow. Like when you're working with multiple couples and you're sending out a lot of different products, whether it be albums, wall art, um, you may not necessarily have enough room or time in your workflow to have it sent to you and then have to ship it out to them as well. So having drop shipping available has been huge for us. Being able to literally just go in, give them the address of your couple, have it sent to them, but no kind of peace of mind that there's not gonna be anything showing kind of the financial side of things. So that just came out of there nicely. It's all wrapped in there. Nice protective screen on the front. So it looks like, ah, yes. Care instructions for your couples. Tell you kind of how to take care of it. So this is a metal print, but it's a stacked metal print. So what's really cool about this, so it's got the metal print, which just has a really cool kind of a texture to it. Kind of has a little bit of roughness. You can tell that it's metal looking at it. I love personally a black and white with a metal print, but then it's laid on top of this board. So it has a little bit of space. I don't know if you'll be able to see on there. Uh, kind of separating it from the background really makes it kind of jump out at you. Uh, it looks really, it turned out really cool. I'm stoked on that. <laughs> We've been uh, waiting to open these for a day when we were like showered and looked nice enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, looks like, okay, so we've got a framed, this is just like your uh, normal framed have acrylic, to normal print. So okay. they do offer the uh, the framing, which is super fantastic. And that, with the this, matting. And this turns out really nice with the matting. I have a mat cutter and yeah. I often thought about doing it for my own wall art. I don't have the time to sit down and do matting myself. So having them be able to do that and at the price point that they do it at is incredible. So that turned out really nice. I love the colors on that. That turned out yeah, really good. Yeah, that's really, really nice. This to be the last square oriented type photo. Let's see here. So what do we have on this one? Let me get rid of this for you. Lots of cardboard. <laughs> Good thing it's finished. I got it. That's definitely a metal. Yeah, that one turned out really cool. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold to the touch. No, that turned out really cool. Again, I just, I love the texture on that. I'm not like, to be totally honest, not a huge metal print lover. I'm more lean towards the acrylic. Like she mentioned, we're more on the bright, vibrant type of look. Metal does have that feature, but I just also love a lot of contrast. And I feel like you might lose that a little bit on metal. But on this one, actually, surprisingly, and I've looked at a lot of metal prints, whether it be at WPPI or different trade shows, that turned out really cool. I like that. You actually have a nice separation yeah. on the couple. And I feel like it like 
does like it pays homage to their venue which is like a very like the wine cellar rustic thing it looks yeah. it kind of looks good on this so you can kind of like bring your couple's style of venue choice mm -hmm. into the print these are obviously the bigger prints so let's see what we got big is better they literally we're killing some trees here today <laughs> there, there's a, definitely a lot of packaging going on right now with these which is good it's like i said if i it's you important to me you, yeah, you don't want that these don't show up to my clients client with a program. nick in the frame or a scratch in the acrylic, whatever it may be. So having this is huge. Oh wow, okay, so this is definitely gonna be the stacked acrylic. So another thing that they do that I love, they do this on their albums too. As you can see, don't freak out if you open it up and you're like, whoa, something's majorly wrong with my color on this. Yeah, so I can see it on the right way. That is just a protective film. And anybody that's ever bought a new cell phone loves this part. This is like the best thing. <laughs> So satisfying. Get... Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ripping that off is so satisfying. Yeah. But yeah, just that's look. so gorgeous. That's what we are all about. We love yeah. acrylics. I, I, it just pops. And right it, when off. I talked to them at WPPI, I told them I said acrylics is where we're at. And I and I'll be totally honest. That's one thing that we're really excited for. And I hope all of you that do order from Enphoto will maybe put your input if you're like us that love bright, vibrant. I want them to incorporate more colors, more different paper types, something that really does really make those vibrant colors pop. This is great, but they do have some incredible metallic type Fuji silk or different types of paper that they offer, but not for the acrylic currently. So if you're watching this, definitely send them an email and say, hey, we'd love to see that because we want to see that because that's something we really love. But even there, I mean, that just turned out gorgeous and that's the stack. So again, it's separated from the background it's put onto another frame type it. of board. It just You can put that right on the wall. You don't have to frame it if you want to. And again, it comes ready to go, hung on the wall. So that turned out really cool. I'm stoked on that one. All right, so this. Ooh, this is the wood. This is the wood, yeah. Wow, that's actually surprising. Like, yeah. I've never ordered a wood print, I'll be honest. Like, because being a bright, vibrant type of photographer and the way we edit our images, wood naturally, in my mind, didn't lend to that. It's gonna be a little bit more on the flat side. <laughs> But that had me fooled. Like that actually turned out pretty bright really and vibrant. Pretty. That turned out cool. Surprisingly lighter than I thought it would yeah. be. Yeah, it's lighter than the other ones for sure. Yeah, no, that turned out really awesome. Um, and again, it's got the mounting options on there, which is really nice. And what's cool about the mounting that I like is that actually just, you can't tell probably on here, but that's probably like a quarter inch that has a little bit of depth. So it's not like gonna have, and it's got the same things here that balance it. So when you have it on the wall, if you've ever hung something, yeah and it hangs, but then it leans lean. like that, <laughs> it's gonna lay flat because these yeah. actually hold it up against the wall, which Little, is, I think like, is huge for presentation. Bottom. Yeah, that turned out cool. I never thought- I love that one. You made me a believer, end photo. I didn't believe in wood prints, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that was actually a surprise and surprise right there. So now what we just hope, I'm sure anyone watching this would agree that's ever tried selling wall art, tried selling yeah. albums, is that somebody just orders this many prints from their wedding. <laughs> this would be pretty sweet, and then I hope they can do it. Or if a... they ordered them a little bit smaller. You're not pulling it on the inside. <laughs> well, I thought you were getting the inside, and I was getting the outside. <laughs> we need to be on the same page. Okay, I'm getting the inside, and go. <laughs> okay. How many beers Alright, what's the next one? You can order one? them smaller, and then kind of group them together. That's like one of my favorite ways to display yeah. wall art. We saw that a lot at WPPI with Enphoto. And it so another acrylic, it's gonna have that plastic seal on there. I so keep see it really this safe. One, like, right away. Yeah, we're stoked on this one. So this one of our favorite photos of 2019. Yeah. For multiple reasons. People loved it on social media. It's but wow. it's so fairy tale with the bride. How many months and her pregnant dress. was she? Eight. Eight months pregnant. You would never know. Hey, <laughs> I think if you're eight months pregnant, it's good to show. I mean, it was but so cool, but the way is, it just screamed acrylic. I loved her gown. Yeah, and you can see it. I mean, it just it brings out all the colors. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. It's what super dimensional. Can do. Their acrylic. I feel like definitely the acrylic. I would have to say are my favorite prints so far from them. Last one. The last one. I don't last know but not least. I've lost track, so I don't know what. To I do, don't know which one. Which this one is either. Is to, what to expect? So. Yeah, we have a lot of cardboard to get rid of. <laughs> okay, inside or outside? I got inside. Okay. It's much smoother that time. <laughs> All right, last but not least. Oh, another metal print. This is cool. Ooh. 
that turned out really cool. So that this, was one of our favorite photos too. Yeah, that was a fun photo. We actually, this in Shoot and Share placed in the top 20 last year. Uh, it was a cool, cool photo because it was raining. Most brides forgot about their rainy, rainy day wedding, but this turned out cool with all those umbrellas. Just created a great focal point. Just scream for metal, just because it kind of had that cool. I think when I think metal, metal type prints, I think of like a cool tone, kind of a vibe to the image, and I think that just obviously a rainy day wedding calls for that. Um, but again, that texture is super cool. It's, and I'll tell you guys, I mean, and this is something we're gonna be putting out here very soon with our education courses, and more so about selling, but couples, people think print's dead. Print is not dead. Uh, and there is way, people need to realize that you can make money selling prints, and you can make money selling wall art. It just has to be the way that you proposition it to your couples. You have to make them realize that this is special, such a special day, and the digitals are cool, but are you going to sit down and look at your images on your computer no. all the time? You're really not going to. So what you really want to make sure is you have something that it's going to live on forever, not only for you to enjoy, but that's something you can pass down. It's your first family heirloom, uh, just like the album. So don't think that prints are dead. Have show these to couples. If you can do in-person sales, fantastic. Yeah. Have them in, have this. We're gonna put these but all up on our wall. touch it, feel it. I think that's a huge thing for people to be able to see it, touch it, feel it, experience it. And I think that that's how their wedding photos should be too. Just really educating them on these should be experienced. They shouldn't just live on a computer. Where do, where do photos go to die? Our phones, our computers. We don't experience them, we don't look at them again. So we're huge advocates for print. We have all of our wedding photos printed, huge, up in our walls. I always, I always think of it as like a bank account that you can draw from like that emotional feeling of the day, you draw that every time you go and look at those photos. And I think it's a, honestly a huge thing. When times get rough, I can look at those photos. We've been uh, cooped up and you know, yeah. like it's crazy with quarantine. We're not sure when you're watching this video, but this right now we are quarantined for the COVID-19 of 2020. Um, and so things get kind of intense when you're stuck in a house with a three-year-old and the two of us. Um, so <laughs> having those photos. little reminders, yes. oh yes, we love each other. <laughs> <laughs> so having that is huge, but sell that to your clients. I mean, that's the, the, the key is that this is, this is so important for them to have. So, um, it's the beginning of their legacy. These are family heirlooms that they're going to pass down, you know? Um, and I, and I want to, I want to end this with just saying like, we love Enphoto. They don't, we're not being paid anything by Enphoto for any of this. They're not giving us anything for this. It is just purely out of, we've worked with a lot of companies. I've sent images to a lot of companies, gotten wall art, gotten albums. I've tried everyone under the sun. And I went into, I'll be honest, going into, a, okay, they're in Poland. How is this gonna go? Uh, I'm in the United States. We, How, we I'm, I'm not do, gonna be able yeah. to get in touch with somebody if I need help. They work US hours. I can call someone at nine o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or even at four o'clock, I get someone on the phone immediately, speaking total English, no problem. Some have some pretty cool accents. Um, <laughs> but I, I get taken care of. Like, there's no, def, there's no doubt, white glove service all the way around. And I don't think anyone and touches their prices. We got this quality. really quickly, too. Even oh, though yeah. it came all the way from Poland. And I yeah. mean, it, it, was, it was incredibly fast. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to worry about like months of turnaround time no. or anything like that. We um, put an order in, I mean, for our albums. Our thing is our fast turnaround. Our albums are nine time. to 14 days. Yeah. So, yeah. really, really speedy. And I get there's places in the US so that you might be able to get things faster. but. I I don't think quality to price, anything yeah. touches it. Yeah. Um, I'm stoked. I, I go looking through these. I, this is the first time we've ordered wall art from yeah. them. They turned out amazing. I can't wait to put them on the wall to, for clients to see them. And I know it's gonna be an easy sell. We just wanted yeah. to mention, if anybody does wanna keep up to date with more, we're gonna be putting more out there, uh, talking about whether it be end photo or just even other things in general in the photography realm. We are Emory Photography, E-M-R-Y Photography. Emoryphotography.com, you can email us if you have any questions. That's hello at emoryphotography.com. Uh, Instagram, Emory underscore photography. Reach out to us guys, hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there and uh, hopefully we'll talk again soon. Have a good one.